Hello everyone, I'm Tom Pounder and this is the Digital in 5 show. This is where I take five minutes to talk about digital tools and trends that are happening around the world and apply it into our ministry context. And today I'm going to share with you seven different ways that we can utilize QR codes in our ministries. Because I, in case you haven't noticed, in 2020, QR codes have made quite an, a, a comeback. They have uh, been popping up all over if you are able to go to a restaurant, that you're scanning in a QR code. If you go to another public place, you might be scanning a a QR code to get more information. QR codes have been really, really popular uh, in 2020. And as we move forward into New Year's, they're going to continue to find usefulness in your ministry context. And so today I'm going to talk about the seven different ways that you can apply this into your ministry context. There are probably more than seven ways, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, by posting in the comment section below or uh, let me know on Twitter at TA Pounders, my Twitter handle. But I would love for you to be able to share your things. But here are my seven. However, before I get started on that, I do want to remind you, if you're watching this on YouTube, definitely subscribe to this. I've got new shows happening every other week. And if you're listening to this on Spotify or iTunes or any other podcast, definitely subscribe to this as well. Okay, so now let's get into the seven different ways that you can use QR codes for your ministry. Well, the first way is to use it as a digital connection card. The reality is years ago, and even as much as last year, we were using hand connection cards where you just give them a connection card, they fill out their information, and you send them information. Now, we've gotten a little bit better about that, about using links and whatnot, but a QR code can be a perfect way for you to utilize a digital connection card. You can put it up on your screen, you can put it upon your bulletin if you have a bulletin, or you can include it on your website as well. You can put it in a variety of different ways, but the moment they scan it, they can go to a website and fill out a digital connection card so that they can get information immediately. So that's the first simple way that you can do it. The second way is to have a QR code that sends you information about an event coming up. Again, you've got lots of different events happening in your ministry or your church, and so a great way to get information out to people is to have a QR code. Again, you can put it uh, in your church building somewhere, you can put it uh, in a website, you can put it anywhere where someone can easily scan it. And that way, they can just scan that QR code and immediately get into uh, more information about the event. You can even put it in a newspaper ad, which is going to be another one of our other ways that you can use a QR code. Number three, print ads, newspaper ads, magazine ads. Again, uh, mailers and print ads are still really effective tools for you to use for your church or your ministry. And so if you want to utilize a QR code and get information out to them immediately, simply put it in a print ad and then therefore they can just hold up their phone to that ad, whether they got it from a friend or not, and they get more information about an event or a church activity or a digital connection card or any other information that you want to send about your church or your ministry. So utilize that in a print ad and then they can easily just scan it with their phone. The fourth thing is something I really like to do is I like to invite people to Bible studies. Okay, So you can utilize a QR code to invite people to Bible studies. And what I like to do is I like to have the QR code out and I put it on the screen. I'll have a handmade flyer. Again, people don't always like to use flyers now. So they can just take that flyer at my table and scan it in with their phone. And it takes them to the Bible study that I'm going to be starting up as a group Bible study. Again, I love to do... Bible studies in online formats. And this is a great opportunity by having a QR code to invite people easily and they can easily accept your invitation right there and then. And it'd be a great way to have more fellowship and more discipleship opportunities with people. Number five, this is a little bit creative, but to put it on a t-shirt. Okay, listen, your church, your ministry, you guys make lots of t-shirts all throughout the years. Well, one of the things that you could put on it is maybe put on the back of your t-shirt the QR code for your ministry or the QR code that goes and sends it to your church or your ministry page or a landing page in general about an event or whatnot. But use it as a way and then someone just randomly pass by and says, oh, that's a cool looking shirt. I'm going to wonder what he's uh, promoting there. And they hold up your phone to the um, your shirt, hopefully with your permission, and they'll learn more information about your church or your ministry event. Number six is that you can put uh, your QR code on an email. Like if you send an email out to a bunch of people in your church or your ministry, and uh, right below your signature where you put your name like Tom Pounder, 
put a QR code that they can learn more information about something coming up. Again, you don't have to highly publicize it in your signature, but if you put it in your email and you put it right below your signature, they're gonna be curious to say, what, what is that QR code about? And they might scan it in and it's a good promotional tool in an everyday format that you use, which is email. And finally, number seven is included in your church sign, your church sign that's on the road where people are passing by. And this is particularly useful if you're in the inner city or you're in a uh, location where there's lots of foot traffic. You know, you have your, your church sign and then you have your phone number in there and you also have your website. But in order for someone to really do that, they have to get their phone out and start typing in the website or, or typing in the phone number. Here, if they're just sitting by there and walking by your phone, your uh, church sign, all they have to do is whip out your their phone, scan in the QR code, and they immediately get to go to your website or they immediately get to go to the landing page you want them to go to. So this one's a really cool tool that you might be able to use, again, in the inner city or where you have lots of foot traffic going by a church building sign. So those are the seven things that I found useful for QR codes. And again, as I said in the earlier in this, that there are other ways I'm sure you can utilize QR codes. So what are they? I would love to hear them today. So again, put them in the comment section below or hit me up on Twitter at TA Pounder and let's continue this conversation online a little bit more. All right, heroes. Well, that's today's Digital on Five show. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, subscribe to this if you can. I would love for you to get all this content coming to you on a regular basis and be notified the next time I do a video or a podcast. All right, heroes, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon.